Hello, Gary Champion, Psychic Medium. Good morning, fellow crazies. Political stuff is coming to an end. And um, I was, I, I don't know why it showed up this morning, but this guy, this rock musicians thing just showed up on my, on my YouTube thing. And uh, then somebody was talking, they did a thing about this guy and I was listening to it and, and he said he's a humanist. I thought, no, oh, what's a humanist? And so I looked it up. Humanism is a belief in the value, freedom and independence of human beings. Doesn't mention dogs. Value, freedom, and independence for human beings. Belief in the value, freedom, and independence of human beings. And then it goes on to say, uh, you have control over your own behaviors. Well, that's an interesting concept because we didn't seem to have that. Um, there are a lot of followers. There's leaders and followers. And yes, you do have control over your own behavior whether you believe it or not, every, every choice you make has um, a consequence. That's not part of this. I'm just adding that in. You, you have control over everything you do, your own behavior, which either gets you in trouble or, or gets you fame and fortune, whatever you want. It's your, each person is sort of like its own little country. I mean, whoever you talk to, I talk to a lot of people, everybody has, it's like they're an independent country all on their own, an island somewhere. And they've cobbled together a, a system of beliefs that allow them to survive in the world that they live in. And um, when I was really young, I watched a lot of old movies, a lot of old black and white movies. And I learned to snatch bits out of those movies that I, that that hit with me, and cobble together a, a philosophy. wasn't born with a philosophy. Had to work on a philosophy. And I was young, real young. And um, I would listen to other people, older people mostly. They seem to have the most interesting things to say. Not young people. Not kids my age weren't doing anything. And then Zap one day I became a, a medium and all that was lost. I no longer had a a uh, cushion of beliefs to get me through the day. I still don't. I'm just a reader. I hear voices, I tell you what I'm hearing and this is something I'm supposed to do today. A humanist is a person with strong concerns for human welfare, value, and dignity. And their belief is that people are basically good. I don't have any problem with that. Most people you meet, they are, they are good people. It's that they tend to be led astray by people that, that just want to use them. In whatever endeavor in life you are, you're, you're a follower or you're a leader or, or you're, or you're a, yeah, you're a follower or a leader. And if you follow, then you're stuck with whatever somebody else's philosophy of life is, not yours. People who create their own businesses don't uh, follow. They create their own, they cobble together um, certain things that they live by. And a humanist has a strong concern for human welfare, value, and dignity. Everybody has value. Everybody needs to be taken care of as best we can, welfare. And everybody has a right to dignity. Interesting, isn't it? And uh, we're in a period of, um, it's already started. It's already started. Voting's not counted yet. But we're in a period of renewal and then um, a reawakening. And that's humanistic. It's all, all human endeavors seem to involve that at some point. We run through a period of time, we hit a brick wall, and we stop to renew. 
figure out what our values are, where we're going, what are we doing? And we're doing that as a nation, even as I'm speaking. People are already lining up for the next one. And uh, reawakening. Oh, what? Why did we go nuts? Why are we in a nutty country lately? You have people spouting bigotry and hatred and anger. That divides people. These people are not humanists. They're um, snatch and grab artists. I'll yell out all this crap, and then while there's confusion, I'll grab what I can. That's what they're snatch and grab artists. And there's a lot of them. And it's not just the ones looting stores. It's much bigger than that. They're smashing and grabbing and looting as a leader of a country. It's, it's not very humanistic. Because that doesn't, that means you don't believe in the value of freedom and independence of human beings. You believe in controlling them to get what you want. Humanist um, says everybody has a control of their own destiny and who they are. You take that away from them, you take away their dignity. They're not even aware you're doing it. You've got your hand in their pocket. They don't even under, they don't even understand what's going on. They're caught up in a, something they, they can't possibly understand. Only the crazy people that run it, and they're not sure what's going to happen. It's like setting fire to something. You don't know where it's going. And that's what they did. They set fire to the idea that everything's okay. And things were okay. You go back four years, things were okay. Things were rolling on pretty good. And we made a mistake. We made a bad mistake. The kind that's gotten people killed. Not a few people. Lots of people have been killed. And you notice I didn't say they died. They didn't just die. They were killed. When you deny funds and, and uh, research in the area that can save their lives, you kill them. You could have saved them. That would have been, see, that's saved, killed. Oh, no, we just, we, they, we, we allowed them to die. No, you kill them. You're just as easy as you stuck a knife in their ribs because you don't value human life. These people that pull this off, they don't value human life. They value stuff. That's not humanistic. Humanistic puts a human at the center of everything. Anyways, uh, uh, philosophy of a rock star that I wasn't aware of. Didn't know anything about humanism. So today's the day of learning for me. I think I may be a humanist <laughs> at some point. I think it makes a lot of sense. You have control over your own behavior. Stop doing stupid stuff. Stop following people. Decide what's right yourself. Follow that. Because uh, that's at the root of this. That's at the root of all the destruction is that we tend to follow people who yell the loudest, who point fingers and, and lie. And it's bad. It's not good for us. It's not good for our country. Of course, who do, you, who, do you, who do you know that doesn't lie? And the final part of this video is that I've been hearing for several days, there'll be somebody out of Southern California that keeps saying Southern California in the next two, three years, someone will rise up out of there and be a good leader a very good leader, middle-aged, um, dynamic, um, who they'll try and smear, but it's going to be kind of hard to find something to smear there. You know, you can't, um, if you're always throwing rocks, it's easy to find something to, rock. They, we, we don't like about you, but um, Joe Biden, what did, what did Donald call him? Sleepy, Sleepy Joe? What is, what is that, a derogatory statement of some kind? Does that mean he's asleep? You can't say he was having extramarital affairs or stealing money. He had to come up with a derogatory slogan. People listen to that, though. Oh, I sleepy Joe. Oh, we can't like him. He's sleepy. Anyway, somebody out of Southern California in the next few years will 
come up and um, make a lot of sense. And we'll gain allies pretty quickly. And um, we'll be different. Not a lot different, but some different. Different enough that you can recognize the difference between him and these career people that we have year after year after year after year. We're just changing ponies. They're the same pony. And Biden was vice president, and now he's going to be president. I mean, we're just... We just do that. Whoever's president this year is vice president. Next year is going to run for president. And we're just same philosophy. We have, we have a platform. We need a new platform. These guys need to put it the and you know they don't they don't uh, even attempt to accomplish any of them anymore. They lie. How about we have a humanist uh, platform? Belief in the value, freedom, and independence of human beings. And that you, you're responsible for your own behavior. The next person we elect should be a person with strong concern for human welfare, values, and dignity. And he must understand that people are basically good. Almost everybody, I, I, I can't remember the last time I ran across somebody who was, wasn't basically good. I mean, I talk to a lot of people. They come by here. They call me on the phone. Uh, they have general concerns and welfares for, for everybody, not just themselves. And you're my YouTube people. You, you above everything have these concerns. And you express it. And when someone gets down about something, you jump in there and bail them out, make them feel good. They're there. It'll be all right. No fear and regret and anger. Thanks for watching.